Entering weaning data for your herd on the American Gelvie Association Registry Service is easy to do by following a few simple steps and is a similar process to entering yearling data. To access the member login on the Registry Service, click the AGA Registry Service Login button located at www.gelvie.org. Do not click the Login and Register links on the home page. Those links are for the exchange listings. To access the AGA Registry Service member login, you must click on the AGA Registry Service login. You are now on the American Gelvy Association Registry Service. Enter your username and password in the member login located in the upper left-hand side of the Registry Service screen. If you have forgotten this information, please call the AGA office at 303-465-2333 or email registration at gelvie.org. The first step to entering weaning information is to put the animals in the weaning work queue. First, check if you have any animals in the weaning work queue. You may have added animals in the weaning work queue if you clicked Add to Weaning Queue after you entered the birth data. If there is no work in the weaning queue, you will need to add animals to the weaning work queue. To add animals to the work queue, go back to Home Base, which is the General Profile Information screen. To get to this screen, use the Work menu on the left-hand side of the screen. Click on View under My Account. Then click on the Herd tab once you are back to the general profile information screen. There are a series of boxes that run across the middle of the screen. Identify the bulls pre-wean box and the females pre-wean box. Clicking on either of these boxes will bring up a listing of all bulls or females in your inventory that are under 251 days of age and do not have a weaning record entered. Identify the wean column in the list. Click on the wean box next to each calf that you wish to enter weaning data for. That animal is now in the work queue. Do this for all the bulls you want to enter weaning data for, and then all the females that you want to enter weaning data for. If the animal does not have a box in the wean column, it means this animal is less than 100 days of age. Now go to the weaning work queue. The weaning queue shows there is work waiting to be processed. In the row, you see the member ID, member name, total number of animals in the work queue, the work order number, and the date. Click on the green row to open that work order. This brings up a screen with all the animals in the weaning queue. Across the top of the data entry screen is all the categories of data that can be entered. If you click on a header, it will bring up a dialog box with a description of what needs to be entered into that column. Moving from left to right on this screen, you see the calf's registration number, name, prefix tattoo, and sex. Enter a weaning date for the first animal. You can click on the icon next to the date field to bring up a calendar. Select the date and then hit tab. The same weaning date will fill down for all the animals in the work queue. If you need to enter a different weaning date for an animal in the work queue, you can do so by selecting the desired date for that particular animal. Doing so will not change the weaning dates for the other animals in the work queue. Tab across the weight field to enter the weaning weight. If you have collected additional data on the animal, tab across and enter the information for weaning calf temperament, weaning hip height, weaning management code. The code will automatically default to 1 if no information is entered, weaning feed code, and disposal code for the calf, which is the first status field.
Then you can enter information on the dam, including disposal code for the dam, weight, hip height, and body condition score at weaning. If you realize you have a calf in your work queue that you do not have data for, you can delete that animal from the work queue by clicking on the red X at the rightmost column of the screen. That animal is then removed and weaning data can be entered at a later time. Once you have entered all the data, click the validate button below the last calf data line. You must click validate before leaving this screen, otherwise all the data you entered will be lost. The validation process checks the data you entered for any errors. If you do not have any errors that show up, click the commit button. This commits the data to the registry. This is a two-step process. First, you validate the data to check for errors, then you commit the data to the registry. If there are any errors, an error descriptor will be displayed on the left side of the screen in the row where there is an error. This error descriptor represents the type of error that is explained at the bottom of the screen. The field that contains the error will be highlighted in either yellow or red. If the box is highlighted yellow, this means that it is an advisory error and may be out of the normal range, but may still be committed to the registry. If the error is highlighted red, this means the error is critical and cannot be committed to the registry at this time. For example, if you enter a weaning weight of 300 pounds, which is below the average weaning weight typically recorded, and click validate, it will highlight the weaning weight in yellow and show an error descriptor to C5B. If you then look below at the error descriptors list, 5B reads, weight, valid measurements are between 331 and 1,199 pounds. If this is the real weaning weight, this error can be committed because it is only an advisory error. If this was an entry error, re-enter the correct data. If you enter a weaning date that is after today, and then click validate. It will highlight the weaning date in red and show an error descriptor to see 4A, which reads, date, the date cannot be after today. Also note that this error is critical out of range and prevents records from being committed to the registry. Again, if this is an entry error, you may correct the error by entering the correct date. Correct as many errors as possible, then click Validate again. Next, click the Commit button. If the calf is old enough to have yearling data recorded, there will be an option on the right side to add the animal to the yearling queue. Any animal that is still has an error will remain in the kickout queue to be fixed at a later time. The kickouts can be found on the general profile information screen by clicking on view under my account menu and then clicking on the kickouts tab. Clicking on the work order will bring up the animals with the errors. Contact the AGA registration department for assistance in correcting remaining errors. Once you have committed the weaning data with no errors, the weaning date that was submitted will show up in the wean column of the general profile information screen under the wean section of the herd tab. Thank you for watching this AGA registry service tutorial on entering weaning data. For more tutorials, visit the registry service tutorials page under the education center tab at galvi.org.